Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome on back. So today I'm going to be reviewing a uh, post burn review of Yankee Candle's new confirmed signature five wick candle. Um, <laughs> if you were, have been following along, um, I did a video back, I think it was the 1st of January, where I had found uh, this candle. And it was supposed to be initially a three wick candle. Then they, back when the signature law launched, then they pulled it, never actually launched. Um, presumably because the three wicks are just not good enough because this thing is a monster, right? This is a monster candle, um, in size at least, uh, compared to like a three wick that we would normally see or their existing three wick candles. So three wicks just wasn't gonna cut it with this candle, but did it need five wicks? Um, that's what we're going to talk about here. So I told you a little bit of the backstory here. So Yankee did finally officially launch the five wick candles this past Tuesday online and in store. And they're available in a bunch of fragrances, 20, maybe 40 some fragrances, I think. Um, I have the Seaside Woods here, which is probably one of my, uh, I can tolerate it fragrance that they've released in the past few springs. I think it was like, this was the year that Sea Glass came out. It was a horrific spring, if I recall. Sea Glass came out that year. Um, Seaside Woods and uh, Turquoise Glass, I think it was called. Um, and a few other things came out. It wasn't a really good spring launch. It was, wasn't was strong one bit. Um, it was the year before Garden, the Garden Collection. Cause it wasn't themed anyhow so i have it here it is as you can see it is a large large candle five wicks okay um it's about i'll get my trusty trusty ruler out again here my tape measure and we'll, we'll go that's what it is so it's about five five inches in diameter height is about two and a half inches we recall right and it only had an inch, about an inch and a half of usable wax. Um, that is the concerning part here. The amount of wax you get for the price you pay and how much is usable. So these things are retailing for $26.50, 12 ounces. $26.50 for 12 ounces of wax. That's kind of like, and you can't even say, oh, but Bath & Body Works is doing $26.50 for 14 ounces of wax. You get two more ounces of wax there, sure you do, but you do get a longer burn time, right? You get like 35 to 55 hours, something along those lines with a Bath & Body Works candle because they're small and tall. This is short and narrow, or short and wide rather, and five wicks. So they say, well, first off, remember I had said a few weeks ago, I said, they're gonna market this. This is my prediction. They're gonna market it as like, five wicks is going to like illuminate your house right uh they kind of did that they kind of said in, in verbatim here um new experience a yankee candle brand totally reimagined a fresh take on our tumbler shape features a brushed metal lid that fits neatly under the base to serve as a candle coaster five cotton wicks create extra ambiance extra ambiance not additional scent throw extra ambiance and a premium soy wax blend provides our best candle experience ever. Hand illustrated labels, yada, yada, yada. It's the same thing for the rest of the whole signature collection there. <laughs> they say this is 16 to 28 hours of burn time. Mm -mm. Not in my experience. 10 hours. This is 10 hours of burn. And I'll tell you how I got to this. I burned it because cause it's so short and there's so many wicks here. I wanted to be on the cautious side for safety purposes, right? Because that's a lot of a lot of heat, a lot of flames, a lot of fire going on here. So I did two-hour increments. So one day I'd burn it for two hours, let it cool. Next day, two hours, so on and so on. I never exceeded two hours on one burn. And I'm at 10 hours right now. So that's a total of five burns, 10 hours. They say, extinguish, do not light anymore when you have a half inch of wax left, okay? So back to the trusty old tape measure here. And 
do this the best we can here. So there's the wax. There is, there's the wax. And there's the bottom of the glass there. So this is at about a three quarters of an inch, maybe a half inch, right? Um, so, and the thing is, I trim the wicks and then they get long. So, um, the past two burns of this for the, for the two hour time period, the whole candle was fully liquefied. I'll post some pictures on my Instagram. Fully, fully liquefied. So, do I feel comfortable burning this one more time? Maybe. It's, it's tough. I don't know where they're getting the 28 hours from. That is... Uh, maybe you burn it, you get to a, get to a pool, and you put it out 28 times. Because um, that's take about an hour to pull. Maybe that's it. But 16 on the low end, I mean, uh, I could maybe push 12, but that is pushing it, in my opinion. That is pushing it. Um, I, I don't know. I don't, you know, and I haven't really seen much marketing from this, and... I just don't think this is a candle for the um, everyday walk in the Yankee Candle person, buy a candle and burn, because I, I don't know. Um, if folks don't know to trim their wicks, if they don't know, you know, the half inch rule, if they don't know all that stuff, it could be kind of dangerous. Um, I mean, I hope the glass is dry. Personally, I don't want to take a chance. Um, you know, I mean, I'll put it, if I put it in a hurricane, it's just going to improve the heat and it's going to burn faster and hotter and all that stuff. That's not, not, not good either. But I don't know. Now, performance wise, it performed great. It, Seaside Woods is a lighter fragrance in general. This candle, and I haven't burned a signature of this candle. I've burned a medium paraffin of this candle. This performed really well. Really strong. I'll give it to him. It was strong. It was a really strong throw. But am I paying twenty six fifty for ten hours of throw when I could spend thirty one dollars and get a hundred some hours of performance from a signature jar and probably get the same amount of scent throw? Do I need the five wicks? No, I don't need the five wicks. No, I don't need the five wicks. Uh, you know, I can turn on a flashlight or something. I don't need the five wicks. Um, but it performed. So I'm going to give them that, right? I'm going to give them that it performed um, beautifully. No issues in the burn pool, in the burning. No issues with the wicks, except for they get a little long, but you have to trim them each burn. Um, flames were really nice and steady. and steady, Good size. No issue there. Scent throw again. Good. But I don't know. I think they need to do a little bit more marketing on this and say, hey, here's what you got to do when you burn this candle. Don't let it go too long. This is my opinion. Don't let it go too long. Really pay attention to the half inch rule. Half inch rule. I mean, it's, you only had a half inch and a half of usable wax in this thing, anyhow, and you only have about really an inch of burnable wax. Really, what it comes down to. Um, I don't know. I I would go with the signature jars for thirty one bucks, or even the medium jars for twenty four, because um, you're still gonna get about sixty to seventy hours of burn from a medium jar. Or if you want scent throw, buy a plug-in. I mean, um, I, I don't know. These five wicks. I'm going to be curious to see how they sell and if they put them on any deals or whatnot. But um, her five wicks burned well. Does it need five wicks? No, it doesn't. Um, I think four. I think it could have gotten away with four, right? These are about the size of a homeworks candle in diameter. Harry has four wicks. He had three wicks when the wicks were great. Um, four wicks now, fine. Um, I don't think this needs five wicks. I think Yankee just wanted to like say, oh, hey, we have five wicks now. Um, no one else in the mainstream company does. But, you know, Audi has a seven wick candle out this week. But it probably burns like crap because whatever. Um, you know, Nest has a four wick candle. So we're going to do five wicks. Now, let's see what the next big thing is. So, um, that's what I have for you on this. Let me know. If you've seen these, if you bought one, are you planning on buying one? What your thoughts are on this whole five wick candle there. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all real soon. Stay safe out there.